This is Ray's Quick Fire Magnetic Generator. I have a system here that's using a pendulum on a small generator, another small motor driving an activator set of magnets. I'm going to come back and explain what these are separately. The two principles involved here, the first one will be the quick fire principle, how it works, and then also the neutralization principle that I'm using. Okay, demonstrate the quick fire. I have it set up the same that's on the uh, uh, generator up over on this side, but I have it in two different parts. I have the pendulum on a, a little play car with clay to hold it on and the activator I'm holding in my hand. Okay? As the activator comes around, it does not have any resistance or pushing back upon the small car. But as it gets oops, wrong way. Okay, so as I'm coming into the firing point, we don't have any push to it, but there is a, a, a push through. And this is what's happening. It pushes and it has a free gate. That's why I call it free gate. There's no loss coming into the gate. But there is a gain as it pulls it through. So that's what's happening. That's my first principle. And you can see that working up on there. It comes around and it fires and uh, pushes the pendulum. One thing I'd like to point out, I've always had problems with a rotational device. Because on the back side of the rotation, you had fields working against the front part of the uh, rotation. So I never did have that working very well, but this, this has a self uh, resetting uh, system to it, this pendulum. And the pendulum has a whole field of inquiry about it. There was a gentleman, Milkovic, uh, his pendulum machines, if you want to look that up, Milkovic, and uh, it's very interesting, but uh, I'm having a resonance going on here. I'll show you. I'm at two volts or so. Now if I start back here. At first, you can see it swings and it fires on the swing back. So it fires forward. That's where my gain is. It's a over unity event. Because going into it, it's not pushing it back. But it does push it through. So small input and a large output. So uh, overall it's an over unity gain. So this, as it comes back freely, you can see where it flops back and that's when it's firing. So if we get into a resonance, we can find that again. We're out of resonance there now. So the next time we hit residence is around 3.5 volts, somewhere around there. That's about 3.8, somewhere in there. But anyhow, we're uh, firing that now at our second residence. So your pendulum is actually firing at that up and down point and that's where it's catching it that's firing at that point and that swings back freely and that's when it's uh, firing the uh, LED that's how it works so anyhow that's the uh, first part of the principles and I like to go into the 
uh, neutralization and we'll demonstrate that here but uh, if you see this block of iron and we have a pack of magnets on it well let's see I have the same thing here I have a pack of magnets and a block of iron now on this side of course we have all kinds of magnetics going on but the block itself it has a south and a north or a north and a south and those two interfacing uh, fields going through the iron block makes it neutral it's neither north nor south it's neutral so this makes a neutral area where as it's coming around it's shielding the fields from pushing backwards so right now this shield this neutral shield here is a not allowing these other fields to interfere with interfere with these uh, fields of the pendulum so anyhow we'll demonstrate that so we have very very little input this is called my input and then it fires and there's a large return so you have a small uh, force going into it there is some but not enough to really have that major difference the output is so much more it's very very noticeable so here we go again fire so here's your neutral that's protecting it from the unwanted interfacing fields here interacting fields so we don't really have those fields interacting if we did not have this block there that neutral block we would be interfering and you could see this movement going back and forth but we don't have that because of the block that's very important on this design so we're coming around to where it's going to have a quick fire you got quick fire there so anyhow that's that part and uh, so we'll fire up again and then we'll come back with some diagrams you can see it as it freely works itself back and forth that's where it fires on the backward swing and at that point uh, swinging freely is when this neutral block is facing that so there's no unwanted forces there to prevent it from swinging back easily okay that's our two and what do we have 3.8 for our second residence residence even a little bit of change here it's really a fascinating little device here I'd advise you to uh, this is all educational uh, I don't assume any liability for anything but uh, they are fascinating to watch uh -huh. Okay, we'll be back, and I think I showed you the one up there. Here's some of the further videos I'm going to have uh, try to make some of these up and have them so that uh, you know the experiments and all the principles and uh, a lot of the diagrams and have them available on my donation coffees and then that way you can have them for your records and so forth but for this one I didn't get a chance to do all that set it up so I hope you find this interesting. I think it's really uh, a unique way of using an OU event, which I was describing there, and uh, having this pendulum effect as a self 
resetting uh, device for your rotating activator. And this allows me to do the same thing as a rotational device, but I don't have those problems that I was having with the rotational device and the interaction uh, on parts of the cycle. So this has really been a, a breakthrough for me, and I hope you uh, enjoyed it. So take care and, and have fun in inventing, and uh, if you want to visit my coffee, buy me a coffee, I'd appreciate it too.